especially during these days and times. As for me, I've been outdoors here in the Carolinas, stretching my legs where I can. Recently took a marksmanship sharpshooters course, more on that to come, with Cody Nix. Look at him online, Special Ops Fitness. Very good, interested in some new, slightly different stuff, outdoor training facility. So while we were sighting in our guns, getting ready to reconfirm zeros for magnified red dots and those that had scoped and whatnot, all of a sudden Cody's coming out in the morning, right? And he breaks up this 16 inch gel block. And I'm like, yes, my first time. Cause I knew what that was, some gel testing of some ammo. Disclaimer, we're not perfect. You see something you don't like, don't hold it against us. But I promise you, you are gonna see some stuff that you do like. There's a company named Allegiance Ammo. They're out of Virginia, check them out. But this is the crux of this. You'll see it in the video. There, he tested two rounds. The first one was a 5.56, 2,550 per second. What's interesting in this, it's called hog strike. So it's a hunting round and 80 grains, right? So it's a jacketed, frangible round. And what that does is it's when it hits your target and it does maximum damage with that 80 grains and what you'll see in the video, it's kind of like a powdered metallic particulates. So when it hits, it fragments, but all that velocity and that wound channel and depth kind of carries through and it's very, very good looking round. You'll see the second round that we tested and get this disclaimer, I kind of didn't know what was going on in the video. I kind of ad hoc walked into it, right? So I get to see the performance without doing the analysis. I have the benefit now of looking back and teeing you guys up. But anyway, the second round, so that was the first one was hog strike. The second one is called one strike, okay? It's a five, five, six round but it's 55 grains, 2,885 feet per second. Now, what I didn't realize and that you'll see is the performance. What happened is it's a home defense round, now that you know. So it's designed not to over penetrate. So let's think about this. We're all familiar with full metal jacket. We're familiar with soft points and hollow points expanding, you know, and I go back and forth, shotgun, pistol, rifle AR for my home defense. I'm gonna seriously look at this and you'll see in the video, the one strike, what it does is it's designed to fragment on thinner barriers. It's doing its thing, right? And it does have a disclaimer on the website, half inch drywall. I don't think my house has half inch drywall. I think I'm quarter inch or something like that. So it could over penetrate, but come on, it's designed to fragment when it hits thinner material as well as soft tissue and it looks quite impressive as well without over penetrating when you're ready hey guys we're out at cody nix's range here's a little behind the scenes footage of what he's got going on this is really cool that was 80 grain wow wow good lord wow that was 80 grain Look at how they're broke up. Hog strike. Wow. Perform really nice. How big is the gel block? 16? 16 inches. So it went in. See the cavitation? Nice wound channel. And this thing, one thing that I noticed, it just really fragments. It started fragmenting as soon as it entered. That That's very impressive, actually. Yeah, most of the energy was used up right here. Well, it There's a little piece that went. That was where it carried. But, I mean, I really like this. That's some cool. That is spent. Look see. at the spires and the offshoots. 12, About 14 inches. That, that, uh, I got to say, that is gnarly impressive actually you can kind of see it just spiraling and the velocity and then just it just shreds that's what's interesting it, around even without the wound channel yeah 80 grains of energy at, at well how long what fast was that what yeah let's take at? a look at that um i don't know what the velocity on that was i thought it said it Hog strike, 80 green, 5.56. Doesn't say, oh, we'll Can get Can you it. pull it out? Let's take a little quick look at it. See what it looks like. 
Cody, where do where do we get this stuff? Legion Samo. Legion Samo. Legion Samo. There you go, guys. It will put them down. Nothing up that fuck. That's amazing. That was incredible. How far were you standing off? We were just kind of right here at the Eight end, feet, right? Maybe. One shot in. Eight feet, I'm guessing. And then how long was your barrel? 16 inch, nine and one twist. There you go. A little behind the scenes action. We're shooting the 55 green. Wow, that's a cool shot too, man. Yeah, it is. That. That's interesting. A lot less penetration. Yeah. That is a totally different characteristic right there. It went. How many inches, Cody? Each of those blocks is two. So. Six and a seven. So it's two, four, six. Okay. So mm -hmm. six Seven. inches. It has a big wound channel. Oh, yeah. So it started to do its thing and then it just broke apart and just dumped all its energy and kind of stopped six inches in. What's that ammo marketed towards? That's frangible as well? Yes. It's called one strike. Ah, home defense. There you go. Mm -hmm. It's designed not to over penetrate. Yeah. So it did its job. It hit the surface, dumped massively. That's impressive. That's about as real as it gets right there. There you go. If you want that for home defense. Especially when you realize it's for home defense, that makes a big difference. Yeah. I didn't know just by observing the results. Now it makes total sense. There you go. Thanks for watching the Guns and Outdoors channel. First time ever doing gel block out at Cody Nix's place. You want some training, give him a call. We'll take care of you. And then if you want some of this yeah, ammo, order it up. The guy's local and did a good job. <laughs>